I'm 2,000 feet down in the Cayman Trench, trying to lure in a leviathan of the deep, the six-gill shark. I want to find out if this creature could have been involved in the aftermath of the wartime sinking of the RMS Laconia. Shark, 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 shark. We've got a shark. And the scent from my bait, a dead pig strapped to the front of my submarine, has just brought one in. Very faint, almost ghost-like, just drifting left to right, just on the edge of visibility. But I'm guessing uh, that wasn't just a sort of um, a coincidental drift by. I think it's probably picking up the scent. It's turning round, it's turning round. One, two, three, four, five, six, six skill shark. Wow. That's a big animal. Big, 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 big animal. I have to remind myself that although I can see it, the shark can't register red light, so it cannot see me or the bait. Oh, here it comes right over my head. And since we're not making any sound, it has found us using its sense of scent. It's now coming towards us. And it seems to be very slowly zeroing in. Is it gonna feed? Is it gonna feed? Look at that. Wow. That is a feeding shark. That's what a feeding shark looks like. moving the whole side, but it's actually moving the whole side. That shark is bigger than the whole sub in terms of length. And I'm literally inches away. Inches away. got the taste for the bait. That's amazing. That's amazing. The bait has been obliterated by the shark's serrated teeth. Like a ghost, it vanishes into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> 